Magandang hapon. Ako po si Trixie Cruz Angeles. Di Okay, magandang hapon. Ako po si Trixie Cruz Angeles. Ngayong hapon na ito, mag interview tayo ng uh, dating presidential spokesman naman po ninyo kung sino siya. At uh, siya po ngayon ay tumatakbo bilang presidente ng bansa. Uh, huwag hindi na tayo magpapatagal. Andiyan na po si... Ah, Spox. Sandala. <laughs> Medyo nawala siya sa screen natin. Hang on. <laughs> Intayin-tayin lang po natin. Uh, as you know, um, taga Davao din po siya. Siya po ay nagtapos sa Ateneo de Davao. Siya ay uh, dating preacher. Uh, he, he finished in the Ateneo de Davao University ng high school. Ang kanyang undergraduate work was in pre-med from the Ateneo de Davao also. Tapos nag-postgraduate studies siya sa Siliman University. He has a master's degree in social development uh, galing sa Asian Institute of Management, so AIM. So, uh, ito na po siya. Hi, Spox. Magandang hapon. Good to see you. Ha? Tagal natin din nagkita. Tapos po kayo marinig. Tagal natin din nagpangabot. Kung sakasakali isipin ninyo bakit boss ang tawag ko sa kanya. Kasi po, <laughs> dati ko siyang boss sa PCOO. <laughs> okay. Uh, Check ko lang natin. po mic ninyo. Pa, patest naman boss yung mic. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Ito po kayo marinig. Sandali ah. Sandali ah. Okay. Patest uli ng mic nyo boss. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Diyan walang walang volume yung kay ano kay sir. Bakit hindi ko naririnig? System sounds. 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3. 3 2 1 3 2 1 3 2. Dali lang po. <laughs> hindi ko ma-test yung audio ninyo. Boss, patest uli ng audio. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Wala ka kong feedback eh. Okay, naririnig ko siya. Magandang hapon. Boss, patest uli ng audio niya. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. Wala pa rin di yan. Mas maganda ang quality ng ano, ano. Ayun, narinig ko na kayo. Okay, <laughs> ayun na po. Magandang hapon. Hi boss, kamusta? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hindi na tayo nag-aabot, nagpapangabot. <laughs> Opa. Para dun sa mga nagtataka, dati namin siyang indirect boss sa PCOO. Siya po yung nagsabak sa akin dun sa Karen Davila interview. <laughs> na, Diyos ko, dami kong tawag dahil dun. Um, uh, in the meantime, boss, you're running for ano for for the presidency. Ano nangyari? Bakit? Bakit bigla na naisip na ako mo? <laughs> uh, sana nga ganun kadali no na naisip ko lang. <laughs> so ano Pero, yung ano, ano yung process? Hindi ba sabi ni sabi ni boss, sabi niya ano yan eh tawag. 
Kumbaga, sabi niya, destiny yung mga ganung bagay. So, but basically, ano siguro, uh, I, okay ba, naririnig mo ako? Yes po, we, we can hear you. Perfect yung audio. Uh, basically, siguro, years ago, magbula 2016, I had a sense na there would be some involvement in government, no? In, in this role. Tapos, uh, ano, nagkaroon din ako. Tapos, nung, hindi ba tin, tinawag ako noong 2016? In July, hindi ba? Tinawag ako yes. spokes, hindi ba? But after yes, that, ma'am. nilipat ako. Nilipat ako sa DFA after about a year, year plus, tinawag tayo sa DFA. Pero during that time, I had a sense na, ano talaga, na ang Pilipinas talaga pwedeng, ano eh, pwedeng uh, magkaroon ng, ano, ng breakthrough, kumbaga, mag- karon ang breakthrough magkaroon ng uh, uh, kumbaga ma uh, magagampanan ng Pilipinas yung kanyang tawag at tadhana ko ko so yung basically that <laughs> <laughs> parang ano bakit bakit president sir bakit hindi senator oh ah uh, kun siguro uh, Say clean up pa no na pinapagawa. Ah, may pina. Paano siguro part of it part of it tricky. Uh, a large part of it is because the presidency and it's symbolic siya, hindi ba? It's a symbolic role. I know it's powerful. Yes. Full bit more symbolic, it's a very powerful place. Pero kasi kung ano yung binibigyan tugon ng presidente, siya rin ang ano eh. Siya rin ang magbibayad as we have seen. So So in a sense, it's not just a support, but basically the work I see na pinapagawa sa atin is directional. Directional siya. So, so directional uh, so meaning... Ko na, huh? Kung ano yung, ano, paano natin patatakbuhin ang bayan, ano yung dapat bigyan natin tugon, ano ang bigyan natin ng atensyon, yun. Yun yun. In the same way, like for example, if the president talked about uh, war on drugs, dito nakikita ko na I'm talking about three things. Number one is uh, we need to face no uh, yung social ano natin, social condition natin na kung saan ang laki ng agwat sa mayaman, kulang ng tiwala ng tao, pati kulang ng ano, parang pagmamahal sa bayan, parang lack of patriotism. So yun na binibigyan kasi kung talagang gusto natin na may mangyari, nakikita ko na kailangan maging patas, dapat nararamdaman ng gobyerno, Tsaka pangatlo ay dapat uh, ano rin, dapat yung uh, matatag yung bayan in a sense. And ang katataga naman kasi ng bayan sa nakita ko ay hindi lang dahil sa struktura, galing talaga sa tao mismo. So yun ang nakikita ko, it's really addressing the, the so, yung, 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 yung social ills, quote unquote, pero through people. Uh, tao problema, tao rin na solusyon. Pag sinasabi niyo po bang tadhana, I mean that there's a... Uh, kasi ang tadhana, ano ba yung rough translation niya? Destiny. Destiny. Uh-huh. destiny. So you think that it is your destiny to well, to, to, to lead? It's not, uh, maybe, uh, I, uh, kasi I usually apply it not to myself. I apply it to the ah, okay. Uh, I so, see. Tinatawag, so, sinasabi ko na bayan may tadhana. Hindi naman ano eh. Uh, hindi, hindi tayo natadhana na maging mahirap ko 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 hindi sa swerte kung baka bunga siya ng ano bunga siya ng mga pulisiya so yun ang nakikita ko na pag tugunan natin yan eh pwede makamit natin ang tadhana ng Pilipinas i see so where do you think san, san ba dapat oh, na, alam natin kung more or less no kung saan natin gusto siyang dalian but we'll talk about that part later how do you propose na dalin siya doon may tadhana o sige, merong, merong, parang, merong kayong vision para sa bansa. Uh, could you tell us what the, what the vision is? Uh, ano, the vision or how to get there? The, the, yung vision muna. Uh, sige, yung, gusto okay. ko makita yung goal. Sige. Okay, sige. Uh, ano sige, ang, ano, ang nakikita kong pananaw is, ano yan, no? na yung bayan, uh, let's say, no, ang, in my heart, kasi I, in, ang lahat ko sinasabi na may nakikita ko na parang isang siglo Pilipino, a century, a Philippine century. Ano yung Philippine century na yan? Yung Philippine century na yan is, ano, is a nation na 
sinasabi ko, makatarungan, mapayapa, at masaya. O oh, sige, ano yan? Eh, let's, let's unpack that a little bit. Kunyari yung masaya. Uh, pag tinanong mo siguro, katulad nung I started telling this story, ano may kasasaya mo? Uh, sasabihin mm-hmm. nung tigalit, tigay NCR, ah, eh, kasasaya ko, makabili ako ng panibag, mambagong iPhone. You know? <laughs> Maka- <Okay. laughs> Hindi ba? May iPhone ako na Ah, uh, you know yung latest. Ano bang ano ba latest ngayon? 12 or something? Uh, you know. I have no idea. Hindi ako yeah. nag-iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Pero kunya rin sa bin o oh, sige iPhone. Pero if you ask maybe somebody galing sa let's say sa probinsya, let's say sa Rumblon o galing sa Bisaya, ano tatanungin? Anong 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 ikasisiya mo? Kasi bin siguro niya, sana makikita pag pagdating ng birthday ko, andito si Nanay. Kasi nasa okay. Middle East siya, eh. nagtatrabaho, mm-hmm. o kaya si tatay, o kaya si kuya, makauwi para sa kasal ko. Parang gano'n. Kasi hindi sa real stories, eh, no? So, yes. yung ang ano, eh, ikasasaya ng tao, eh, kung susukatin natin, pwedeng material, pero kadalasan, it's all about, especially Filipinos, it's all about relationships, it's all about family. Pag mapayapa naman, ano ibig sabihin na payapa? Mapayapa. Ah, katulad dito, yung, nung ano pa, spokes ako, kakaspokes ko pa lang. Ah, nagpagupit ako, tapos yung nakilala ako ng barbero pa, sabi niya, Sir, masaya na kami. Sabi mo, eh. kasi hindi na kami natatakot pag nakauwi yung ano namin, pag umuwi yung aming mga anak, kasi nagtatrabaho sa ano yun, sa call center, pag uwi, wala na mga bugoy-bugoy sa, ano, sa kalsan. So mapayapa ang buhay nila. Why? So, it, dahil sa pulisiya ng gobyerno, yung makatarungan naman, yung, for example, uh, ano ba ibig sabihin ng makatarungan na bayan? It's a just society na hindi siya basta, for example, katulad nito, kadalasan kasi ang pamamahala is run by ano eh, government maker, rule, uh, lawmakers, rich yes. people. And usually tilted yan towards the, ano eh, towards the well-to-do. You know, so okay, yes, natin, uh, para gawin natin magkatarungan, i-rebalance natin. At pa, paano natin i-rebalance? Let's rebalance the power by getting ordinary citizens, yung civil society, yung mga uh, uh, the women's sector, or men's sector, o mga concerned citizens of uh, Naik Cavite, the concerned ganito, of consumers, of so forth and so on, para magiging, ano, magiging mas batas. Uh, hindi lang basta na may yaman na naririnig, pero hindi sila. But eh, hindi naman ibig sabihin, oh, transfer the money to us, no? We're just saying equal opportunity, equal rights, mm-hmm. equal voices. You know, so, mas makatarungan. In other words, it's not about having so much money. It's about having a society that's fair, that's happy. <laughs> At, uh, kumbaga, may equal. Katulad nun, yung Kunyari, pag nagkasakit si tatay, aalagaan siya. Maalagaan siya. Parang gano'n. So, yun ang so, pananaw but, natin. Uh, and, oh, sige. The, na, gets ko. Uh, masaya, payapa, makatarungan. Correct. Uh, yung sa makatarungan, medyo vague yun eh. Um, what is wrong with the system sa tingin ninyo? Ano yung aayusin natin dyan sa makatarungan na part? Basically, uh, The, the, basically, our policies favor a few. Uh, you know, okay. kumbaga, you know, yung uh, hindi ba sinasabi ng iba? It's failed. Katulad nung ano, yung, yung uh, uh, regarding agriculture, sasabihin ng ano, uh, sasabihin ng ang analysis ng World Bank. Ang analysis ng World Bank, uh, ano eh, failed policies ang nangyari. Bakit hirap na hirap? Bakit hanggang yung hirap na hirap ating mga smallholders? Bakit wala silang natatanggap? Kasi nga, in, you know, kulang na suporta ng gobyerno. So, hindi makatarungan. Eh, like, katulad nito ha, like, katulad nito, bibigay ko sa'yo. There are 23 to 26 million Filipinos that are considered below poverty level. Ngayon, yes. there are 12.5 of the million of that na natutulog gabi-gabi na gutom. Yan, okay. you know, hungry. Can you imagine yes. habang, oh, should I have a double cappuccino or should I have ano, I in the mean, yun na, yun na pinuproblema mo, should I have uh, uh, hazel nut? Pero hmm. ang iba, hindi nga pag, pag ang pinag-uusapan, Trixie, ang pinag-uusapan, hmm. wala, wala talaga. Wala makain. 
So, yes. hindi makatulungan kaya yun. You know, makatulungan ba yan na mga ang iba na pumili ng 7 million pesos na handbag? Tapos yung, yung iba, parang, you know, fine, you can afford it. So, legally, it's yours. Pero more, parang, it's not, das, eh, parang hindi makatulungan na habang, ano, habang may nagugutom, eh, kung ano lang pinagaano na. So, yun, ano ko, actually, flagship, ang flagship project natin is agriculture para maiangat itong 23.23 to 26 million people out of poverty and out of hunger. Mm-hmm. Yun ang pinaka-flagship natin. It's a, of course, we'll solve it economically, but it's a moral situation, I think. E tao naman tayo, pati ang Pilipino kasi, maka, makikapwa tayo, hindi ba? Makikapwa. Does not, Go ahead. Does that include, kasi ang sinasabi ninyo may civil society participation nito, so Naintindihan ko yan, yung need to ano to to involve the private sector. And in fact, uh, on the private sector side, it, it bothers us. It's hindi lang po kaya, it bothers us. Kunwari, maglalakad ako sa sa down the street, nung pwede pa, o well, ngayon pwede na ulit, uh, merong uh, manlilimo sa'yo. Uh, hmm. All reason says, huwag kayong magbibigay, or at least the DSWD tells us, huwag kayong magbibigay, and yet, every instinct in you says, kailangan tulungan mo yung kapwa mo. So we need a means at sa private sector para makatulong. Now, ito yung problema ko dun sa ano, pagdating sa NGO participation. We've tried that. In fact, ang Pilipinas, isa dun sa pinakamaraming NGOs, pinakinumpisahan ni, ni, ni uh, President Cory, nasa ating saligang batas yan. And may mga medyo streamlined na yung proseso para makapag-organize under the Securities and Exchange Commission. Hmm. What what are you going to do that's different from what is already being okay. done now? Alam mo, Trixie, and you're a lawyer, you know this. Uh, yes. Yeah. Doon sa local so. government code, <laughs> doon sa local government code, alam natin na may puwang doon for civil society. Ngayon, yes. ang sinasabi niya, specifically sinasabi na dapat ang uh, 25% of uh, uh, 25% of those participating in the lawmaking and in the ano in the do sa sangguniyan must come from local society mm-hmm. from the local community and not necessarily NGOs huh? it can be anything you can be uh, basta't ma-register lang as far as I understand it kunyari it can be the bible study group of couples for christ or it can be mm-hmm. this uh, ano ano lang pero dapat mga tao na nagsi-share ng same ko pa ano ba titingnan nila Ang titingnan nila is number one, local planning. Uh, ano ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, is pang planning dito? Like for example, o yung law enforcement. O bakit si, ang, yung mga, yung hinuhuli lang dito, yung mga bata galing sa, 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 ano, sa, sa relocation area. At paano naman yung mga social-social dyan, yung nahuhuli, yung mga tipong ganon. O isa, yung bids and awards. Titingnan ng mga ano. Paano ba yung bids and awards? Meron, ano ba yan? Uh, Makata, ano ba yan, tawag yan, transparent ba yung ano, meron mong kumikita dyan, mapupunta ba talaga dyan, kunyari may mag-invest tayo sa agrikultura, sa agrikultura ba talaga pupunta yan? Eh, you know, o, so may, may kumikita ba dyan? For example, or health, and, in other words, hindi siya, I understand the problem about civil society, and I've seen some of the problems about it, no? na part of it is medyo magulo, Pero, I don't possibly to say na hindi siya, na wala siyang potential. I believe it has great potential. Yung citizenry, not necessarily NGO lang. Okay. So, but, but what will be different? I mean, uh, si streamline natin, mas madali magkaroon ng NGO ngayon. Uh, marami kasi ako nakikita. Doon sa, sa SEC at saka sa BIR, May mga requ- ang haba nakita niyo yung requirements para sa NGOs uh, particularly for ano for uh, of course depende sa category tapos nagbabayad ng ano nagbabayad pa ng income tax ang mga ito nag part of uh, whatever is earned by the NGO kahit ito ay binibigay natin completely to charity may kaltas pa rin for ano for for taxes and for income tapos magkakaroon ka lang ng tax exempt status kapag nag nag-comply ka with the BIR regulations tapos merong 
uh, meron pang mag, ano, ano ba yan? Buhay pa ba yung NGO certification? by And this is done by a private group. So, ang dami-dami, daming steps. But, How are we going to do this? Is it ano is it are we you know, is it first tama, by streamlining or uh, uh, again is first get the people involved. You know get the people involved. Ah, I see. Uh, just get the people involved. It doesn't have to be an NGO. It can just be a Bible study group or an association. Okay. You know. It yeah, can be the eh. It can be the uh, tricks association, you know. So <laughs> <tatlo kami. laughs> Me and my dogs. <laughs> so, so Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. At, uh, okay. But so the the idea, I think that you're that if I kung tama po yung pagkaintindi ko, is una mahikayat mo na yung taong bayan na sumali sa mga to to to, to help again. Because uh-huh. there was a time, and I I will admit na dati super hyper involved ako sa NGOs. I was into Correct. heritage conservation. Was doing all of these things, and uh, at some point. Uh, hindi man it wasn't even the administrative aspect that that gets you down it's the the it's like parang may pinu, pinupukpok mo ulo sa pader pero hindi ko konte o glacial yung pagbabago na parte dayan kasi nakapagpasa ako ng batas for conservation in the time that I was involved in an NGO but it's still not enough at uh, kumbaga i think we've lost that vibe to help Correct. Ewan ko kung ako lang yon, but I think marami rin kami na after a while. Siguro na burn out talaga. <laughs> Kasi for a while, NGO was fashionable. And I think that's the yes. problem. It's, it's being ah, fashionable. Sure, sure. It's not about fashion of being fashionable. It's about compassion. Okay. You know, it's about <laughs> iba, magkaiba. Hindi lang hmm. spelling. <laughs> so, 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 yung, so I see it. May, may puso talaga it, it, Puso, this is about tama. ano uh, uh, not I think it's the ha? word moral eh, pero transform transformative ito correct dito balikan natin ang quantity tricks ya tanda mo si Pierre at dinakita natin to sa simula ha? grabe ang ano appeal niya sa tao you know yes, bakit so... kasi somehow nadadar- nadarama ng tao na meron talaga siyang ano meron talaga siyang bigatin para sa kanila I'll never forget this, no? Na yung maalala mo yung sinabi niya sa mga OFW na pauwi na at sabi niya pag, pagdating yung sa airport, uh, tawag niya pag kumuha sila ng gamit, umingi sila na sampalin mo. Tapos sabi niya mag-ingay ka, magsisigaw ka. You know, it wasn't yes. about the form. It was about his, ano, his outrage at the, ano, at the injustice of it all. You know, so yung kumpaga, okay. doon ang hugot mo kaya. I think, but you're right, kasi the presidency, hindi lang po yan executive in function, at dito natin nakita kay PRRD, parang national cheerleader siya eh. <laughs> We rally around him eh, but kumbaga, without him actually saying anything, Wala. not kami, gusto tayo, gusto natin, na we just want to follow, we just want to, to he, where he takes us, we're willing to go. Um, I just list. think Why did you were, follow? Ano, yeah. uh, because for the first time he was saying things that I wanted to hear. Hindi yung Correct. yung iba kasi narinig mo na dati eh, mga paglalabang kita. Really? Sino ka away ko? Parang ganun eh nagiging cynical yung mga tao. Uh, Pero nung dumating si PRRD, nawala 'yon. Parang parang nagkaroon ng excitement. Ito na po, ito na yung pagbabago. So And, and he fulfilled that to a large extent. Ang ano ko lang is where from from there, uh, we still need a national cheerleader. Kailangan pa rin natin ng transformative, yung hindi na, I, I hate to use the word politics, pero transformative ang governance at saka ang leadership. Is this what you mean by, ano, by, by your... Definitely. No? I don't, Trixie, I don't consider myself a politiko. Ito ako, ito yeah. akin talaga, ano lang. Pinabili lang ako ng suka, pero nakakita ko yung ano. <laughs> Ito, <laughs> nasama na ako rito. Ang, ang, ang puntos ko kasi dito, Trixie, may nakita ako pangailangan. At mukhang ano, kailangan matugunan. Para sa akin kasi, 26, 23 to 26 million and 12.5 million people who go to bed hungry at night is not a statistic. 
tunay na tao ito, may pangalan niyan. Hindi mm. yun ang pwede, hindi mo pwede sabihin na, ay kasi hindi pa dumarating ayuda nila. Hindi, hindi dapat uh, nag, ano tayo, nag, dapat nag, naglulundag tayo na, oh, hindi pa dumarating. Mm. You know, we should be screaming at the top of our lungs that it hasn't arrived yet. You know, let's do something about it, hindi ba? So at the end of the day, it's not as people are not statistics. People are flesh and blood na may tunay na pangangailangan at dapat matugunan. So nakita ko na isa dun sa main programs ninyo sa SMNA ito eh. Parang isa sa mga main programs ninyo agrikultura. You were in agribusiness for a while. So you know what you're talking about. Uh, dito. Uh, yeah. Could you first tell us ano yung experience din yung sa agribusiness? Ay, nasa ano niya yun? Nasa CV niyo yun. <laughs> ano yan? Ang dami kong lugi. <laughs> Ang dami kong lugi. Pero so, ano po, no, okay, no. the genius behind bankruptcies is this. You know what can go wrong. And you know okay. what you should be giving priorities to. Sa akin, like for example, pag sinabi, ganito kalaki yung utang natin, ganyan, ganyan. Alam mo, dapat hindi natin ikatakot ang utang. Kasi, kaya ka mangungutang dahil mer- i-invest mo. Pero, mali kung hayaan mo lang. O kayo, mga economic managers, gawin nyo na yan, ha? Bahala na kayo. Hindi pwede yon Dapat, we need a more entrepreneurial government that really looks into the ano, ito, o saan natin lalagay ang pera natin dito? Dito. Okay, dapat ang tabayanan natin, dapat kumita tayo dyan, dapat ganito, dapat. Pag sinabi natin, ibili natin ng pampataba, dapat pampataba, hindi sasakyan. Hindi ba? O, bili tayo ng bag. Hindi sasakyan. Hindi na da-divert ang funds. Hindi na ga- so yun, ang, ang puntos ko is, uh, dapat, uh, ang, ang nakikita ko sa agriculture, for example, pwede talaga tayong magkabalik. Pwede kumita. Pwede ano, pwede nga... Uh, Anong tawag nito? Pwedeng, uh, ang ta- ang tawag niyan. We can alleviate, number one, uh, we can have food security, num- but the other thing is also we can have poverty alleviation. Tapos, uh, we can, yung ano, kasi alam mo, pag nagka, <laughs> pag nagka, pag nagkagulo, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, oh, import na kayo dito sa amin Vietnam, o oh, import na yung Thailand. Eh, kung sinabi nila, ayaw namin, Eh, kasi may, may guto, may, may famine, o, o kaya may, may bumili na mas mataas. Talo tayo, guto. So we need to, ano, we need to really attend to our own household. We need to become, in that sense, very self-reliant. And agriculture is number one, food security. Well, hindi naman security, puro rice lang. Pero di, dapat may pagkain sa mesa. Okay. Yeah, yes. Uh, uh, what is your stand on the yung current Parang nagkaroon tayo ng informal, informal policy on agricultural importations. Uh, eh, sa pagkakaalam ko, para ito. supposed to be, ano lang yun eh, parang panandalian. Hindi naman permanent, ano yan eh. Hindi siya permanent solution. Uh, yun ang pagkakaintindi ko. Pagka- it was for, supposedly for the pandemic. For the pandemic. Hindi yung permanente na gano'n na ating polisiya. Eh, ano ba, very, very ironic, ano tayo? Yun ang, adva- yun ang comparative advantage natin tapos hindi natin inaano uh, hindi natin minamaximize dapat may, may agriculture na lang tayo pansin yun natin so anong anong gagawin natin sa sa larangan ng agrikultura ano yung what are you going to propose para okay. para ang, masagot ang plan, natin yung need ang plano talaga natin dyan is to make sure that uh, we make agriculture a, into a powerhouse I call it uh, agricultural powerhouse. We make it a mega industry. Kumbaga, right now, ang pagsimula natin is to address. Uh, honestly, ang, ang, ang pagsimula, compassion, eh, no? It's, there seems yes. to be a moral obligation to bring, to lift up this 23.5 million Filipinos out of poverty. It can be done. China did it. You know, it yes, can be done. It did. Absolute so, poverty. Tanggal na. Absolute. Dapat ma- maangat sila. Now, in the meantime, as we bring them out of absolute poverty, let's make sure that they stay out of absolute poverty. So, we yes. develop natin ngayon yung ano, we create an agricultural ecosystem. Na kung saan, for example, merong agriculture, meron din maritime agriculture. Tapos, ang plano talaga natin, Trixie, dyan is uh, under the office of the president, maglalagay tayo ng Board of Agricultural Investments. Yung Board of Agricultural Investments, we look after the entrepreneurial and business side of 
business. DA will look after the technical side. Hindi naman sila mga negosyante. Hindi naman sila mm, mga yes, um, finance experts. Mga ano yan, is seeds ang kalang pinapansin. So, kumbaga, they work together. We have the business side and we have the product side. So, we can create. Uh, mm. yeah, ganon. Ngayon, uh, when we do that, pwede ang gagawin natin backbone actually is nagbabago ang landscape. Yung digital mm. uh, digital industry. Doon natin i-dedicate ang research. Doon natin i-dedicate yung universities. Doon natin i-dedicate yung uh, pag-develop ng mga bagong punla. Doon natin i-dedicate yung, for example, uh, through digital industry, through knowledge, to the knowledge industry. Malalaman natin, ano ba talaga pangailangan na ito? So yun ang pansinin natin. What part of the Philippines? What part tapos yung kumbaga, meron tayong date, datos para sa magkakano ba talaga yan? So that pagbili natin ng ano, tulungan natin yung mga farmer na tawag niyan. Eh, pwede natin bilhin yung kanilang mga produkto at, uh, at a profitable price for them. Tapos through the digital, uh, through the knowledge industry, pwede tayong gumawa ng ano. Yung for example, we'll able to provide, no? Uh, provide, uh, tawag nito, uh, 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 prototypes, Luzon, besides in Mindanao. Tapos bigyan natin sila ng, ng anong tawag nito, bigyan natin sila ng mga Uh, community centers kung saan they can have access to post-harvest facilities, yung ano ganon, tipong ganyan. And then also, itong, in the meantime, while we're developing this, pwede yung ating, yung ating knowledge industry, pwede rin mag-branch into arts and entertainment, it can branch into education, it can branch into national security. Kumbaga, pasimula natin sa agro-industry, but slowly we create a whole nation system. Uh, tapos nalilink sila through our through our knowledge and you know, through our knowledge hub. So yun, kumpaga, we, uh, we do it. when we do that, we can provide uh, revenue, we can provide, uh, ang tawag nito, increased uh, rural revenue, we can have, uh, we can we can scale up things and people can have, ano, uh, people can have jobs and decent jobs and good jobs. No? And then also, of course, we can have an industry na hindi lang basta, for example, BPO is okay, it brings in money, no? Pero talagang scalable, scale, talagang upscale, malaki talaga. It would have to be a, for example, maybe agriculture along with the, along with the rest of the other related industries. I feel compelled to ask this kasi I ask this from every candidate. Yes, um, yes, yes. May, may mga issues tayo that, that don't lead to a very good business climate. Internet is a problem. Public utilities, mm. very expensive ang electricity natin. And water. Uh, they, yes. There's a stranglehold on this. The president tried to break that stranglehold. Uh, meron na ngayong mga franchises, but we have to see kung may epekto ito. But in the meantime, mahal pa rin. So, mm. anong plano pa rin dito? Well, again, revisit. Revisit mm-hmm. natin ito mga kontrata. And then political will, I suppose. At the end of the day, it demands political will. And then, well, as I, you, you, you work both sides of the coin. No? One is political will. The other is appeal to their sense of patriotism and compassion. Because let's tell them this. Look, if we don't attend to this, it could actually lead to social collapse. You know? And what that, do you want? That's always the threat. Yeah. Uh, yung part of the ano, correct, kasi yung isa yung aspeto na binring up ninyo, yung katarungan, tapos oh. eh, of course ito gutom yung ina-address natin. At tapos kasama na din is how are you going to live? Uh, yung things like uh, water correct. and electricity are still essential correct. and internet has already been classified as a human right. So Ang kailangan natin na- lahat yun. Ha? Ang hinihingi lang naman natin, for example, magbayad sila ng saktong buwis. Hindi ba? Pagbayad na saktong buwis. Eh. Kung pwede, alam mo, let's show our patriotism and pay your taxes. <laughs> uh, isa pa yan. Uh. And, pero yung sa kanila kasi hindi lang pay your taxes, but yung determination kung ano yung right taxes. Dahil ang nangyayari dito is yung lobbying effort nila, napabago yung rates. Dahil sa, ito nga yung, ano, yung in-address ni Presidente dun sa train 2 na sinuyod niya <laughs> yung mga korporasyon na medyo ang daming extra it, it it's hard work it's you know it it requires political will na uubos ang political capital do you think you're up to this kaya ba boss well let's put it this way 
uh, panawagan naman ito eh no it's destiny <laughs> sabi niya <nito. laughs> at kanya-kanyang ano siguro kanya-kanyang uh, toka siya ni yanig niya abay baka kung niyanig niya pwede nang pwede nang ano pwede tayong mag-reboot at pwede ka usapin ng mga tao kasi at uh, the day, we're all in the same boat, no? Pag hindi natin, yes. ina- we, iisa lang yan eh. Pag hindi natin yan nasikaso, lunod tayong lahat. Yun sa, maganda yung sinabi nyo, all in the same boat. At actually, meron tayong kasabihan, isang bangka. Um, oh, ang, ang, I, I just am curious, how does the president feel about your candidacy? Nag-usap Wala siyang sinabi. Pero okay. <laughs> nagpahalam ako, <laughs> Okay. Tapos sinabi ano ano parang na curious tule ako anong reaction <laughs> anong reaction niya didi? Well, ang sinabi lang sa akin ni SBG na sabi niya na wala namang inangal so okay lang I'm a shot of a shooting eh he's man a few words naman eh but eh And especially lately parang ano eh Nami-miss ko yung ano eh yung run yung dire-diretso. <laughs> Nagsasalita tapos tayo yung pinapawisan. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, sige, I get it. Maano ma uh, I, I like the vision. I like the idea because it's yeah, it's transformative. It goes dun sa tao yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. Hindi lang polisiya, we're not talking about uh, black and white policy uh, laws and ano programs na iniisip natin pero yung ano bang tawag nun? merong merong term eh sa sa Philippine culture called sa loobin o loob yung concept of the loob uh, the inaexpound dito ni Professor Jun De Leon and he says mm-hmm. that this is unique to Philippine culture pagka Correct. nakuha mo kunare nakuha mo yung loob magaan ang loob so marami tayong mga expressions na ganun so ang tingin ko dito is yung punteria ninyo is sa kalooban nag-uumpisa and then aabot tayo yung, yung external will be yung bayan, Correct. yung so, transformation dito sa bayan. Tama, tama. But in the meantime, yung nuts and bolts natin are agriculture. Uh, ano pa po? Ano pa yung ibang... Ano, yung uh, digital economy talaga. Digital economy, ayun. tourism, tsaka yung arts and entertainment. You know? mm-hmm. Education, definitely <laughs> education. After, uh, yung kasi konektado lahat dyan, eh, no? ang gusto hmm, talaga natin ay like tingin yung education. Dapat STEM plus hubs. <laughs> hmm. You know, hindi lang basta cold-blooded. Sa- we need cold-blooded scientists. We need to That's have, so. uh, <laughs> well, we need number one, hard-headed, think- hard thinkers and soft, mm-hmm. feet, soft hearts. You know, you know, huwag niyong hard hearts and soft heads. <laughs> Aray ko. <laughs> Pero don't you think medyo quick sotik next? Aaway na naman ako ng aking mga followers. Hindi ba parang ano, yun nga, aren't we tilting at windmills here na uh, hindi kayo ini-expect eh, na tatakbo kayo. Uh, if if I knew a year or so ago baka you know, medyo nagulat ako. Bakit why the presidency why well, in answer niya kanina na ano na you don't have enough time pero um how how do you feel about it your, your numbers aren't that that good what about if uh well the worst happens you you don't make it will you be willing to work with whatever administration comes next but i know how how is it going okay let's put it this way we're not considering plan b's at this stage okay i mean yes, okay. Why run at all if you have plan b's you know Okay, so mm-hmm. yeah, now ang masasabi ko is, for example, Trixie, you know, uh, a few days ago before SMNI, you wouldn't even dream of talking with me, right? I know, know, boss. I was going to, kasi kilala ko kayo eh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> There's yeah, a difference. Kaya, I, um, I still have Pero your no. number. <laughs> <laughs> Pero I'll, 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 I'll put it this way. You know, uh-huh. uh, things happen just like that. In the twinkling okay. of an eye. In the twinkling sure. of an eye. Who expected me to become a spokesperson? No, maybe, you know. Who expected me to become a, a go to under, to DFA? Who expected me to run? And now suddenly things are just like, uh, happening just like that. And sinasabi ko, there seems to be a certain logic in the world 
that's built in that favors that favors bold moves <laughs> and changes okay. like <laughs> and My guy, see, fortune favors the bold fortune favors and <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, 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 I'm uh, you see uh, you know I, I, I like what Martin was some, uh, saying that somebody attributed to Martin Luther King I mean, the moral arc of the universe is long but it always bends towards justice. I just somehow, in my all my years, I've real, I've sensed, and that's why I suppose it gives me a certain confidence. Na alam mo, merong paraan ang mundo. Uh, merong paraan dito sa ating kalikasan na kung saan it bends towards yung yung dapat makatarungan ng isang bagay. Ultimately, I think, well, I think that's true. <laughs> I, I think that's true. But even in nature, the patterns will emerge. Eh? And it's oh, almost oh, always towards ano, either uh, symmetry or balance. And what is oh. the ultimate balance? Kundi katarungan. And, Para sa okay. akin. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay lang, sorry. Tuloy, tuloy niyo pa. Tuloy niyo. Yeah, katuloy niya sa akin. I, I think kung uh, asisuhin natin yung 23 to 26 million, ay mukhang babalik din, re-rest back sa atin na maganda. Kunya ng ano natin, adhikain natin. Kasi pwede kang ano eh, you can plan for other things. Personal comfort, you know. But I believe that if we look after one another, yung sa loobin. <laughs> yeah, the, the concept niya of loob. Na Hello. dati hindi ko iniisip yun eh, yung ano makulit kami sa NCCA yan. So, pati yung mga ganyan, cosmology, how the Filipino things. But ako, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised na ganito yung trajectory ng inyong kampanya. It's it's unusual, but but I like it. It's nice. It's, ano, it's, it's, it's maybe unusual. Eh. <laughs> it may be unusual, but I think, ano, you don't find it strange. Maybe in the, set, the setting, but it's a concept that you accept. Mm-hmm. Correct. Uh, easily. Nasa kultura natin eh. I-evoke Correct. nyo na lang. Ma- marami Correct. sa atin nakalimutan na rin natin yung, or hindi natin napapansin yung konsepto. Kailangan pang baklasin. Pero uh, andun siya eh. Um, where is, ano, because you were once a preacher, I need to ask, where is God in all this? Where is God in all this? Uh, yung, ano ba yung sinabi ko sa iyo kanina? Uh, ano ba yung pananaw ko? Uh, antag- makatarungan, mapayapa, at saka masalap. Hindi ba? Uh, actually, mm-hmm. kung iisipin mo, yan yung konsepto ng kaharian ng Diyos. The okay. Kingdom of God. Yan yung konsepto Pwede. ng kaharian ng Diyos. In, siya yun, pero hindi ko binabanggit kasi mamaya turn off ang tao. Kasi so, yun, Gagawin mo kami protestante. Gagawin mo lang kami born again. <laughs> Kalokohan. Uh, uh, <laughs> Baka sabi na, hinihikayo ko siya sa isang uh, religion. No, no, no. Hindi uh, religion. Kundi, ano, pamaraan. A way of living. Oh, what the, ano, ito, views na. Uh, eh, your views on divorce? Uh, kamusta naman? I don't personally what, what do subscribe to them. I don't but, personally subscribe to uh, them. But I suppose, you know, mm-hmm. baga, may mga sitwasyon siguro na uh, certain ways don't work. You know, certain relationships won't work. But I'm personally, I don't advocate it. Uh-huh. Um, death penalty? Uh, para sa akin siguro, sometimes it can act as a deterrent like uh, the one in Singapore. Pero it really resist mm-hmm. ng tao. So kung ano, kung ang, ang ano ko is Ako personally, I can see that it, it can be a deterrent. I can see that it can be a deterrent, but there may be other ways to be able to adhere to that, to get the same results, the same effects. Grabe yung ano, iba tayo magkwentuhan. <laughs> Na, ano, I, I think the, 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 the viewers do like this. Iba kasi tong, tong conversation na to. Ago border tayo sa metaphysical eh. <laughs> Pero at uh, di ba? Okay lang. Uh, but do you, do you see yourself na how are you going to handle halimbawa? Uh, we we uh, the nakita niyo yung presidente in his in his term, ito 5 years into his term, 
may mga issues tayo with Congress. Hindi naman natin mababago yung buong Kongreso, buong Senado. How are you going to handle a, a hesitant Senate and Congress? Kasi kailangan natin yan. Kailangan natin baguhin yung ibang mga batas para maabot yung vision ninyo. At meron tayong, of course, mag, kailangan pang latiguhin ng konti yung mga public utilities. And we're still going to need Congress and the Senate. Uh, how, how can you see yourself? I, leading you know I'd, I'd like with, to with the kind this. of hand uh, oh uh, I'd, I'd like to approach this in a uh, it, uh, from a uh, from the perspective of from this from the perspective of presenting the right data you know Sabing the right data like for example uh you know China China succeeded because number one they relied on talent oh, and other yes. things. But when they they got number one talent, number two data, you know num- number one talent and number two data. I believe uh, slowly we will try to bring in not slowly but in, with God willing with our administration, we will open up. No, we will open up the uh, we will open up the. For example, there are six thousand appointed positions. You know, we'd like to be able to bring in. I mean, some really good guys. Hindi lang yung kaigwito ko, kakilala ko. You know? Uh, uh, guys meaning to say girls also. <laughs> you know? I'm assuming that. <laughs> but pangalawa... Oh, kasi tayo sa... Sa PCO ko, mas outnumbered ang guys. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Ngayon, pangalawa, okay, we'd, yeah. like, uh, we'd like, ano, we'd like, uh, dapat uh, empirical, empirical based. You know, okay. dapat fact-based, evidence-based. So kung meron tayong pipresenta, let's say, to government, like for example, ay nakita ko yung ano, nakita ko na nakinig si, uh, si Sir Soto, si Senator Soto, doon sa presentation ng babae, no? doon ta, sa, tungkol sa uh, yung adverse reactions and deaths doon yung, regarding the vaccinations. Tapos pinoint out okay. niya kung anong mga dates. So my point is this, if we present data that is reliable, I would I would suggest instead of basing it in emotion I would go by data so that ang kokontrahin nila hindi yung oh natouch ako ang kokontrahin nila yung yung datos so mas mabigat yon na kokontrahin mo datos but if it shows us for example that we need to attend to this 12.5 million Filipinos na gutom you know how can we persuade them we show the data Show the data. Saka na lang yung mga prime example, but show that show the data. Pero, I get, that's, it's a good approach, but don't you think medyo masyadong idealist? Uh, let's face it, the, may horse trading yan eh. Pagka may kailangan tayo sa kongreso, yeah, they'll, they'll say, well, what's in it for us? Some of them will be correct, really correct. No, I know about it. I agree. Uh-huh. You know, that, and that is why, and since I'm not going to, I don't have any plans about staying mm-hmm. more than six years. For me, uh, I'm not trading anything. I will be appealing to their sense of patriotism. And then, who will back me up? I'm back up sa akin, civil society. We will, God willing, have people's consultation assemblies at least once a year, at most twice a year. Na kung saan, yes. we can have, they can come up with a report card and say, look, this is how you perform. This is what you did. This is who, what you voted against. This is what you favored. In other words, mm-hmm. meron accountability. So this is where civil society comes in powerfully. I like it. Okay. But aren't we relying too much on them? Sa tingin, sa tingin nyo, civil society by then will be powerful enough to be able to convince you know, our hardened politicians. And by hardened, I mean you know, <laughs> the, the, the kind who will really you know, bargain and negotiate you under the table. So, yes, I agree. Uh, I agree that there'll be ano, but uh, ang ano ko is maybe we don't. We can, basta ta, uh, ang akin, we, we can advance it and we can establish the process. We okay. can establish the the process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was there ano? Was there okay? That, I I keep going back to this because uh, yung yung context on itong pagtakbo niyo. Did you have this dark night of the soul? Bago kayo nag-decide nito, oh, you knew this was coming. 
Meron ba kayong gano'n? It was not the easiest decision to make. Unang-una, yes. you know, you have to tell the president. Uh, no, first, you have to make the decision. Sabihin natin na, okay, I have a sense of calling. Sabihin natin, no? Oh, meron ko sense of calling. Fine. But at the end of the day, you have to put feet on your faith. Tama? <laughs> Dapat. So, so ang, ang yari, uh, yun, medyo ano ko so, kung paano, ay nagkaroon ako ng pro- process of discernment. No, nagtatanong, mm-hmm. nagganito, nagganyan. And finally, I made the decision. So, hindi madali. Uh, I, I can imagine. Do you think you can... Yeah. Well, maganda nga yung ano, nagka-SMNI, suddenly kilala kayo. <laughs> Ay, kilala okay. naman kayo, pero uh, the people were realizing that, uy, meron pa pala tayong ano, uh, early abelia dito. And, and judging, in fact, by reactions to that, meron pala, merong mga ganon na, uy, you know, they they wish it made the kumbaga merong mga tao na, na decided na sila dito sa kandidato nila but it doesn't stop them from admiring you so th- you had that you had that sa SMNI were you initially really going to go were you invited at the start na ano uh, you know uh, maybe syempre isip ako pero at the end of the day you ha- you, you i went you know mm-hmm. i went yeah which is good, actually. So, um, are you being invited to to other well, yeah. debates? Uh, CNN, for example, the, this coming 27, tomorrow I'm what, going to be yes. at the Philippine Chamber of Commerce. You know, people have been inviting. I've been, I, I, be, I spoke to the Association mm-hmm. of Catholic Schools, the, the Ateneos, and so forth and so on. You're from Mindanao. So, alam yes. niyo yung specific problems dito sa sa area nito. Do you have a specific program for ano? Marami kasing reklamo. Whether it is true or not, I, I think it's still doubtful on my end. Ha? When I was the government official, marami tayong binubuhos sa Mindanao. But it seems that some of the problems are perennial. There's of course peace and order, but the potential is huge. Is there? Uh, a program. We we have the railway coming in, so I think that that's going to be a big help. The the roads are being built. What what will you do to further development in Mindanao? Yung agri, tulip pa yung agri. We'd like a prototype of course, huh? program uh-huh. there. We'd like a prototype community. Na kung saan ay kita natin, including uh, renewable energy. You know, yung kasi at the end of the day, uh, people. You know, of course. Pwede kasi kung titignan mo yung poverty map, Trixie, nakikita mo ang Luzon green, ang Mindanao green, ang Visayas green. Ang Mindanao pula. Pulang-pula talaga. The poverty levels there are really drastic. So, ang again, while there are programs there, yung mga, andun yung USAID, andun yung ano-ano, European movement, uh, European, uh, and there. What we'd like to do is, uh, what we'd really like to do is uh, continue to address that and uh, do it on a quote unquote and we'll go through also mga local intermediaries so that ano so that ma- matugunan natin yung situation but we'd like to set up a prototype in Mindanao hindi kasi what about OFWs ay okay <laughs> ano po katulad nun sa meron yung ano eh kinamangunda dato yata yung ano yung yung banana plantation sin makilala ano natin makilala this is actually place there na talagang very prosperous I'm not entirely sure now at this stage. Pero in other words, if it works, people, if, you know, if it thrives, people get blessed. And so it, it eases the social tension. You were, yeah, you were asking for yeah. OFWs. What about for OFWs? What are your plans for them? May maraming gustong umuwi. Sa totoo lang, the pandemic has, ano, has, kumbaga na yanig tayong lahat eh. Even if some right. really want to continue working, Merong iba who are more concerned that they, they have to go back. That was my cat. <laughs> Is that a cat? <laughs> yeah, my, my cat. Eksena yan talaga eh. How <laughs> 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 embarrassing! <laughs> it's not my dog, okay, it's my cat. <laughs> okay. okay <laughs> like, I wish I had so. that confidence, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, sorry, OFWs. <laughs> OFWs, right. Uh, maraming gusto mo eh, tama, tama ka. 
And uh, I just, meron akong maliit na kwento niya. May every short story regarding that. Uh, may nakausap ako, sabi ng isang uh, OFW, Sir, mangyari mang maluklo kayo, anong pwede yung gawin para sa amin? Tapos ako pa, very confident, sabi ko, alam mo, meron tayong reintegration program, ha? Mga ganito, ganyan, 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 ang dami na namin dinaan ng ganyan. Tinuturoan kami gumawa ng balito. Sige, kunin mo na nga yung pusa. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Down, Jack. Yeah. Ayan, o. Oh, hindi ba? Sorry, that was Jack. <laughs> so, ayan, yeah, okay. Sabi niya. Okay, okay na marami, po. Okay. Sabi niya, Sir, lagi kami, marami na kami ganyan, mga reintegration program. Mag- tinuturoan kami gumawa ng balot. Tinuturoan kami magpalago ng tilapia. Okay. Eh, tapos, eh, ano problema yeah. doon? Eh, hindi naman yun ang gusto ko. So, ano ang gusto mo? Gusto namin, gusto ko talaga, welding. Welding kang talent eh. <laughs> ang layo ng isda. Isda. Ang layo ng tilapia. Ang layo ng itlog sa welding. Okay. Eh, okay. Ko, <laughs> ang narealize ko, alam mo, gobyernong gobyernong approach natin sa mga problema. Meron tayo hmm. mga expert opinion of how to do things. <laughs> Hindi yes, ba? Ang yes. sinig natin sa throughput. Wala tayong mm-hmm. concern about the output. So ang sinasabi ko yeah. ay makinig tayo baka ang mga solusyon simple lang. Simple and simple lang. So katulad niyan, okay, magkakaroon tayo ng panibagong department. Hindi ba yung Department of Overseas Filipinas mo? Foreign Worker. Yes. Overseas Filipinos. Ang ano ko talaga, my, my solution, let's listen to the people. Let's have a, let's continue to consult. Let's continue. Ito rin yung ano, uh, pub, uh, ito rin yung solusyon ng this couple, this, what do you call this? This couple that won the uh, Nobel Prize for 2019. You see Banerjee and Duflo. Ang kanila, yes. meron sila, ang kanilang style is, walang, hindi one size fits all. Kasi may mga, for example, like, may, may kinote sila ng mga, mga aid-oriented, aid-oriented economists. Sabi niya, hindi, mag, mag-randomized testing tayo. Tingnan natin what really works. And so, actually, what happens is, you cannot have a one-size-fits-all uh, solution. Answer, what you yes. Need, what you do need is, uh, the, uh, what you do need is a mode of, mode of working, mode of operating, where you are willing to listen and do what needs to be done according to what we have heard, based, and then modify, tweak, streamline, until we get a solution that really helps our people. Got it. Um, Nitignan ko yung mga, may mga nagtatanong, how do you feel about, uh, kasi ang feeling ko is that we need time for a lot of your your, your proposals. Yeah. May mga nagtatanong, what about charter change? What about yung uh, move to parliamentary? Yeah, things like okay. this. Regarding this that, is part of your vision? Yes, pero ang ano ko, I can, we can only do so much in six years. But one mm-hmm. of the things we'd like to do, what we can do, and I did this in consultation, let's say, with some people who are uh, for parliamentary change. One of the things we can do is basically talagang ano, change, uh, reform the party system. You know, mm-hmm. uh, dapat may reform sa party system. Now, for example, dapat membro ka talaga, wala, mapapenalize kung turn coat, magte-turn coat, turn coat ka dyan. You know? Yan. Uh, <laughs> Pagkatapos yeah. dapat yeah. tinatrabaho talaga yung ano, tinatrabaho niyo yung partido niyo, na dapat malinaw yung inyong mga plataforma. Kung baga, ang ibuboto natin, hindi yung magaling sumayaw o nagaganito ganyan. Ang ibuboto natin, yung tao na, ah, ito, ah, he stands for this. He stands for mm-hmm. pro-poor. Alam mo yung gano'n, hindi, hindi single issue. Ha? Hindi yung katulad ng party list. Party reform. It will, which will lead to parliamentary eventually. Pero isa-isa lang. You're almost out of time, but I need to, to hear, ano yung hikayat ninyo sa tangba? What is your message right now? What, can you, what do you want to say to the people? about not just about this this candidacy but what what is your message how how can you call them to you how can you call them to you this is okay. this is your time <laughs> right uh, una, 
muna. Balikan ko, naniniwala talaga ako, may tawag at tadhana ang Pilipino at ang bayan. Mayaman tayo, marami tayong resources, pero hanggang ngayon mahirap tayo. Mahirap tayo hindi dahil sa swerte, mahirap tayo dahil sa maling pulisiya. At pag natauhan tayo at na, at na, na himasbasan tayo, nakita natin na nasa kamay pala natin ang solusyon. Ang masasabi ko sa inyo is, ako yung makikinig sa inyo at sa, makikinig ko sa inyo at kung ano yung solusyon ninyo pag-usapan natin at igaw, igawin natin sa lalong madaling panahon. Ang pagbabago ay nasa kamay natin. Tayo yung solusyon. We can be the solution. Pati ang masasabi ko is this. Well, ang agenda ko talaga ay wala akong agenda na pag... Wala akong personal na agenda. Mahirap okay. talaga ito. Pero ang masasabi ko... Siguro ginagawa ko ito para sa akin mga apo, sa akin mga you know mga sa mga sumusunod, pati sayang. Alam niyo, I've had the chance to go all over the world, well a lot of the world. And nakita ko, pwedeng mabago depende sa tao. Gusto ko ring mangyari sa Pilipinas 'yon. Gusto ko ring mangyari na pati ang ano, gusto ko actually gusto ko ng demokrasya. Yung tunay. Yung totoo. Gusto niya na correct. Yung totoo na demokrasya. Kasi so, minsan napapati. Eh. Pati yung kung pwede mak- you know, makatarungan yung bayan, marunan tayo makipagano. Hmm. Eh, yung, yeah. hindi, yung hindi ka kailangan pumunta sa ibang, mag-ibang bayan o mag-ibang yeah. parlor. <laughs> <laughs> tawiran na tawiran kasi ng parlor eh. so, diba? pero huwag na tayong mak- kung pwede sa ating bayan mismo pwede talaga makita natin ang bagong Pilipinas so I'd like to leave this na sana ngayong Mayo ay desisyon na natin at huwag iisipin sayang yung boto ko no? every vote counts tsaka ito pag nabago ka at nabago tayo magkaroon tayo na pwedeng mangyari na magkaroon tayo ng bayan na nararapat si Pilipino at mga Pilipinong nararapat sa bayan. Yun lang. Ako, maraming salamat, boss. I- I'm sorry, habit na po eh. So, hindi <laughs> ko no, hindi ko no babago yan. Maraming salamat, boss. If there's one thing I can say about this, not only is your candidacy interesting, makata po kayo. So, parang, <laughs> ano, kung hindi kayo maging presidente, baka ipanominate namin kay national artist. By the way, para, oh, by yes, the way no. itulak natin ang kultura. Yan ang yes, fourth no. leg okay. ng uh, diplomacy. Fourth leg. Okay. So, cultural uh-huh. diplomacy. Okay. Maraming salamat, boss. <laughs> Uh, so uulitin na, hindi pa tayo so, tapos. Marami yan eh. Ang, ang sarap ng kwentuhan eh. So okay. kahit hindi interview boss, pagka may oras, katsikahan tayo ulit. Maraming okay. salamat. Likewise. Salamat, Trixie. Para dun sa mga sumubaybay sa interview, I hope uh, kahit paano nag-enjoy kayo, ito po yung ating pakay. Uh, pagka kinakausap natin, iba't ibang mga kandidato natin, hindi lang para sa paghihikayat sa boto nila, kung hindi para pinggan yung kanilang mga ideas, yung kanilang tinatawag nga natin sa loobin, ano yung vision nila para sa bayan. Minsan, pag katulad ni Spokes Ernie, makata yung nakausap natin, na evoke niya yung mga pangangailangan natin, mga kailangan i-address. Halimbawa, yung sinasabi niya na, ano, kaya mo ba yung, yung dadaanan mo, yung naghihirap ng limos, ano, Paano mo i-address yung gutom? Hindi, parang hindi ba kayo nahahabag at the idea na meron ilang milyon sa ating mga kababayan na gutom? Na itong hunger, ina-address ito ng ibang mga kandidato. But nobody has put it quite the way that uh, Spock's early has been able to do that. So medyo, eh, ang tinatawag natin dito, evocative, yung kanyang language. And I like the way it is going kasi nga, um, kailangan natin ng mga leaders natin who can take us where they where they envision us to go. So this is raising the standard not just for ano not just for candidacies but actually for the political interviews like this one. So ano ilan lang po yung talagang naka-articulate yung ibang mga ini-interview natin very precise yung language pero 
it's always fun and always good to hear yung mga tao na kaya nilang ano, using words to paint pictures in our heads about where they want to take us. So maraming salamat that you are all here with me on this one. Um, of course, and as you always are with me on all of these interviews, maraming maraming salamat po. At uh, maraming salamat because you, the, the, the feedback has been most interesting and generally positive. Parang, parang ang saya, no? You, you come away from the interview and you, you, you just feel richer because of it. Not necessarily, we're not really necessarily out to change minds. But certainly, we can change hearts. Um, it may not change the trajectory of these elections, but it, don't you feel that somewhere inside of you, medyo may nagalaw? Uh, ako, at least, that's how I, I feel. At saka masaya yung ganitong klaseng kwentuhan. So, pag hindi na siya masyadong busy, we'll have to bring back Spox Abelia. He has so much that we would like to hear. So, in the meantime, huwag kakalimutan, um, would be a good idea to to share this video. Not because we want the hits, but baka may ibang mano, maantig dyan. And again, I'm not saying this for the votes, but for the for the evocative nature and how he's able to paint the picture of, of what needs to be addressed. And that that the thing that has stayed with me, at least in particular with regard to this interview, is the need to address hunger first. And to, to have yung yung concern para dun sa mga kababayan natin, yung kasama natin sa isang bangka, na to to make sure na dahil kasama natin, that they are alright. Maraming salamat uh, sa pagsubaybay ninyo. This, these interviews are getting so interesting, not just because of who we're interviewing, but also because of your feedback. Thank you very, very much for that.